Watch out. someone who is brilliant who's trying to enlighten you and you've been sleeping all your life you're going to be offended that somebody has now caused you to have to think and, and giving you enlightenment so consequently that's what we see all the time I don't want to see it I don't want to hear it Lucifer is nothing more than the day star that brings the day and it's been misused and misunderstood is there a virtuous day star oh yes yeah, symbolically, there's a very powerful story in the symbolic symbolism of Lucifer, the day star, who brings the, the light of day. It's a very interesting and very important story, yes. We'll talk about it later. church does not want you to discover the name of the tomb. The church does not want you to discover that for as far back as the human race goes, the kings, the rulers, the princes of the earth, all of the intellectuals, all of the most important people in the world know that the whole universe operates around the God's divine plan of the ages. It's astrology is from God. That's from the Bible. Consequently, until we have the proper respect for original astrological concepts, we're never going to figure out what these symbols mean and what, why we're in the trouble we are today. Astrology is a very powerful symbol. And it was used by the ancient Hebrews. It was used by the ancient Christians. And why do you, why do you think uh, you have in the Bible, the Old Testament, the 12 brothers of Joseph? and the 12 tribes of Israel, and the 12 apostles. What are you talking about? 12, 12, 12. Why 12? It's the 12 signs of the zodiac, the 12 hours of day, the 12 hours of night. God's son, that's why 13 is an unlucky number. God's son with his chosen 12 is a divine number in heaven, 13. So consequently, the whole of Western civilization is based all religion is based on astrology. And that's why symbolically God's Son, the light of the world, would say to Jerusalem, 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 killer of the prophets and stoner of those sent to you. Anything that is truly enlightened and intelligent wouldn't have a damn thing to do with you. 
All you do is child sacrifice, pornography, violence, money grubbing, money changers. The whole thing was filthy from day one. There ain't nothing holy in Jerusalem. Ain't never been nothing holy in Jerusalem. And there's nothing going to be holy in Jerusalem, Salt Lake City, Rome, or any place else. Religion is nothing more than manipulation of the human mind. Oh! 